hi my darlings welcome back to another video how are my loves doing like how are you guys doing today so i know i'm i know it's been a, it's been so long since i come into you guys with videos and thing but you know your girl never gave up and she is right back in this video we're gonna be talking about how to start living your best life like you want to be that girl you want to be that bushy levy lifey girl so we're gonna talk about how to start living your best life again not anybody else you best life you your best life okay before we start this we're going to do a little bit of practice okay go on google right now i'm gonna do it with you guys as well go on google and search who or whoever is like me or is better than me in this world who in this world is better than me or whoever is like me and i'm telling you you're not gonna see the answer because you want to know what baby it's you versus you nobody is better than you nobody is like you so first of all, you need to have that mindset that nobody is like me, nobody is better than me. Like you go after your dreams, you work hard, and you do what you're supposed to do as a person. Because let's be for real. I've noticed everybody in this world, we compare ourselves to people. We compare ourselves to people like our age group that are more successful than us. But I'm telling you, this is how life is. Okay? People that are successful than you are also looking at people that are successful than them. So it's like it's a continuous circle. We are all looking at people that are higher than us. So you might have this person that make million dollars. I'm telling you, they are looking at somebody that make two million. So it's just a human nature. We are always looking at people. Okay? It happens. So I just want to say, living our best life, trusting ourselves, it is okay to compare yourself. But at least trust to compare yourself has a way of you learning and growing and developing. Not to compare yourself has a way of you being like, Mm, like to put your own self down. No, you don't do that here. Today, we will talk about 10 steps of literally how to start living your best life. And I come with notes here, of course. I haven't come with notes for so long, but today I'm here with notes. Example, living your best life involves in allowing your actions, your goals, and your values to create this fulfilling and meaningful existence. Let's start with defining your values. Understanding what truly matters to you, identify your core values and principles that guide your decision and action. So you have to know what is important to you. You have to know your values. What is in this world that you really want to go after? What are your values as a woman? What are your goals? What are your actions? And one thing I'm learning as I'm growing is that you can have a goals, you can have a plans, but if you don't have an action to go after those goals, baby girl. I don't know what you're doing, but you better do something better than that. Because let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I have been in this continuous cycle for so long that I will have to speak a lively goals. But one thing about me is that I'm not fulfilling it because I'm not taking the action and the steps towards it. So find what you do matters to you, find your values, and take the action, the steps that will go with it. So another thing is that I set a clear goals guys i'm not going to stress about this enough you all know i'm always talking about something like this you need to set a clear goals for yourself you can have a goal that says oh i want to be rich in the future that's not clear baby you need to have a goal that says i want to make a certain amount monthly in the future so your goals define your goals define what you want that you can even start with imagining yourself what do you see yourself five years from now and you define that goals and you go after it stop playing with yourself in this world because let me tell you ain't nobody finna come save you if you're gonna sit here and think somebody will come save you baby girl it's never gonna happen you have to get up you have to bust up you have to know your goals your plans your values and go after it slowly but surely okay take care of yourself Prioritize self-care, prioritize self-love, prioritize you appreciating yourself. You need to stop hating down upon yourself and start saying all these mean and ugly things to yourself. It is not cute, it's not attractive, and you will keep on putting yourself down. Take care of yourself in a very feminine way. Like if you're a woman out there, be feminine. You're a woman. Stop being so much in your masculine energy. Look, I don't have anything wrong with women that are in their masculine energy. It is what they want. But I'm going to tell you, a feminine, a feminine woman always get what she wants. So get up, bust up, love yourself, take care of yourself, find what truly matters to you, and live your life. Okay, self-love, working out, self-care, self-positive affirmations. If you can do that daily for yourself, do it for yourself, baby. All right, again, 
relationship. Surround yourself with people that support and uplift the individual who encourage personal growth and share your values. Invest time and effort in those type of relationship. So that's something I myself am currently still searching for. A friend group that will literally have the same goals and plans as me and we will all learn to develop ourselves. We are all in this journey. Like I'm telling you this is. It's very hard to find a friend group that is exactly like you. I'm not even playing guys. Like it's so hard. I've been in the search for so, so long. And I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I feel like maybe it's something that I have to work on myself that God haven't sent those type of people in my life yet. But it's okay because the friend that I have now, she is best. I love her. I love all of my friends. And I'm telling my sister, they are all the best. So I'm telling you, find a relationship or find people that have the same goals, the same values, the same future as you. And you guys try to uplift each other. You guys have, have to like encourage each other and grow into your plans. Again, embrace growth. Mindset. Stay open to learning. Stay open to uh, like taking things in. Like, I don't want you guys to be that sucker person that don't think you need to know things. Let me tell you something. In this world, life is a continuous learning. You will continue to learn. Let me tell you, you will continue to learn, baby. So I want you to have this growth mindset of, okay, it's okay to learn. That there are certain things that you might feel in that it's not working, but it's okay. Just keep on pushing and believe it that God has your back. So one thing I'm going to talk about is that... Embrace challenges has opportunities for growth and view setbacks as a valuable learning experience. A failure is not a failure. A failure is you learning of what you did wrong and how can I improve as a person. Okay? Another thing I'm going to say is practice gratitude. You all know it's like Max and did. She love gratitude. One thing about me, I'm going to get up in the morning and say, God, I thank you for my 100,000 subscribers. Do I have it? No. But am I grateful? Hell yeah! <laughs> I'm going to tell you guys the truth, you all. Literally, get up in the morning. If you, if you don't have it, thank the Lord. Say, God, I thank you. Thank the Lord. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for this. I thank you for that. You praise the Lord, baby. The little that you have now, appreciate it. You don't, you don't have to keep on looking at the big things and say, Oh, God, I'm grateful for the little that I have now. I wake up, I breathe, I'm grateful. Practice gratitude. Stop being appreciative. Stop being a stop being a mean person and start being a good, loving, kind, smiling person, and then let nothing come to you. Okay. Again. So, all right. Live with purpose. Find a meaningful end purpose in your daily routine. That's something me. I'm learning. I'm still growing. You all know this YouTube channel. We are all growing together. We are all growing together. You growing, I'm growing, we growing, everybody is growing together. So I'm gonna tell you, live with your purpose. It is recently I'm starting to realize that my purpose, I was doing something different. So now I'm like, no, no, no. I'm gonna follow what I want. I'm gonna live for my purpose. I'm gonna live for what I want because I don't wanna die. And then I'm laying in bed, and then all of my opportunities, all of my plans come around me and be like, what did you do? And I'll be like, I don't know. Like, I want to give, oh, if I'm laying down in, the, in my dead bed, I want to be happy that I make a difference in people's life. I want to be happy that I live for what I actually really want. I want to be happy that I follow my dreams, my goals, my plans. And I want you guys to think the same thing. I want you guys to live for your purpose. Find what makes you happy. Find what brings you that joy or that spark in you and live for your purpose. Because I'm telling you, baby, life is already complicated by itself. Life is already sad, life is already challenging for you to sit here and think that you have to live for somebody else. No, live for your purpose and trust in God and whatever plans and dreams that you have, it will for sure come to pass. Okay? Like, this video is going to be a very short video, guys. I'll tell you guys. So, take breaks. Lord, breaks, 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 breaks. I don't take too many breaks in my life. I don't lose too many things in my life. I'm just like... Whatever happens, happens. But one thing I'm going to tell you for sure is that I know that all of these breaks and all of these things that I have done, my benefit will come and I will achieve everything that I've been building, that I have been building over these years. So I'm going to tell you my loves, my darlings. Look, it's life is hot. Hey, it's hot, baby. It is hard. Nobody has an easier life. So if you go and say and say my life is so hard or my life is so sad, I'm not going to take no risks or I don't have this. I don't know what to tell you, but may the Lord be with you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Blessed Holy Spirit. Baby girl, get up right now and take breaks. 
take that risk. Something that really fear you, something that you are so afraid of to do, do it. I mean, who cares is this? Who really care? Get up, live your life, take risks, do things that fear you, do it. Like, I'm gonna I'm tell you, like, I've been doing things that fear me from day one. I am still doing it till these days. I love taking risks. I love learning. Because I feel like the more risks I take, the more it's a learning opportunity for me. So, baby girl, get up. Take that risk. Be willing to take calculated risks to achieve your goals and expand your horizon. Yes. Eat. And can live authentically. Be true to yourself and honor your authentic self. Again, avoid comparing yourself to order and embrace your unique strength, crest, and passion. Unique, girl, you are unique. Stop trying to compare yourself with people. Be unique in your own self. Look at yourself every single day and say, I am not like other people else. That's why before we start this video, I told you guys to go on Google and search up who is like me or who is better than me. And you're not going to find me, baby. Because you are your own self. You are like yourself. You are better. Like, literally, look at yourself and say, I am better than my past self. I am way better than my past self. I am so happy and I'm so happy for the growth, the wakes, the learning that I have grown and developed over the years. So, my loves, be unique. Stop. Comparing yourself to people is not, it's not, mm -mm. don't do it. Get up, bust up. Look, I'm saying to myself these days I'm working is the only thing I see is my faces on people. I don't know if it's getting to be very selfish. I really don't know. But I'm just walking and seeing my face with people. Like, I'm chill. I'm calm. I don't let nothing stress me. I don't even like stress in the first place. Like, uh-uh. Don't bring nothing stressful to me. Like me, I like peace. I don't want problems. I want peace. Ah. <laughs> my dear. Stay present. Okay? So, practice mindfulness and live in the present. Stop thinking on the past. Like, I have so many of my loves out there that love to think on the past. Like, you so suck up on the past. If you want to live your best life, stay in the present. Future. Stop thinking of the future. I'm telling this to myself. Through this camera. I'm telling this to myself. Because one thing about me, guys, I am always worried about the future. I'm always worried about tomorrow. What should I do tomorrow? What will I do tomorrow? What will I eat tomorrow? Lord, I don't forget this Bible first, but God said you shouldn't even God said you should not be worrying about tomorrow. For tomorrow you don't even know, like literally. So I'm gonna tell you this. Stop worrying about tomorrow, about the future. And I'm saying this to myself too. Cause we all struggle. When it comes to the past, I don't worry about the past. Look, let me tell you something. It is behind me, it is behind me. Baby, I don't care. I don't care at all. I'm living my life. If it's in the back, but it's in the present, it's fun. I'm not gonna lie. That one, I'm always like looking, like I'm always trying to figure out what's gonna happen next, what's going next, what's going like literally. I'm always trying to figure it out, and it's something that I need to work on myself about. And it's like I'm trying to trust in God, I'm trying to learn God. I trust in God, but it's like I still can give God everything. I don't know why. But the Bible itself said it. Stop worrying about tomorrow because you cannot hold tomorrow. The future is not in your hands. The future is in the hands of God. So, girl, boy, stop stressing. Uh uh. Live a life of freedom. Stop worrying yourself and let whatever happens, happens. Okay, my loves? Alright, so I'm just going to end this, right? It says, remember that living your best life is an ongoing journey. You will continue on this journey. It's an ongoing journey because as you grow, you develop, you learn that you, you learn new things about yourself. You learn that you have to do better things about yourself. It's like you will just keep on going through this journey of living your best life. Living your best life isn't something that you will have within a day or a month or a year. It's a journey that you keep on going through. And it's okay. But as you go on through this journey, learn to love yourself, learn to encourage yourself and everything that you have, you celebrate it. You celebrate a little you celebrate a little accomplishment and you be grateful for what you have and what you don't have. Okay? Again, and it's okay to adjust and refine your journey, your your approach along the way. Like you know, there are a lot of things that might change about yourself. You will find that you don't like this thing no more. It is okay, okay, my love. It's okay to figure that oh, I don't this thing don't encourage me no more. I don't feel like I want to do this no more, and that's okay. Like I said, my past me, what she needs to learn, is not what she like now. And I'm telling you, as I'm learning every year that I up to my age, 
Lord, I find uses of myself. I find things that I don't like no more. And that's okay. Be patient and compassionate with yourself as you, not, as you navigate to the ups and downs to life. Life is going to have you up. It's going to pull you down. And recently, you are not having for yourself for like a whole month because I've been down. Baby, love don't... Mm. I've been crying a lot of times in my bed, but I'm going to tell you, your girl is getting back up as long as you see me on this channel. You should know I'm getting back up because with God by my side, I shall not sit down. I should rest up on the top, and that's how I want you to live, my darlings. Again, I love you guys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm.